<laughs> Welcome to Crash Summit Podcast. <laughs> Episode what? One twenty. Oh, that's a good question. It got to be one twenty nine. One twenty eight. I think it's eight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say twenty nine, just in case. Uh, yeah, be no, on the right nigga. side of history. <laughs> be on the wrong side. That's what of white history. liberals say. I nah, love black people. Yeah, it's it's one twenty. Just to be on the right side of history. Both the crash episode one twenty. If they can zoom to twenty twenty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if they can zoom to twenty forty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, bro. <laughs> Both the travel. crash dummies episode one twenty eight. You, you they a say, Halloween hockey player or something? <laughs> 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 There you go. I got him. Let's go. Let's roll. Come on. This man got a full cloth fit. <laughs> All right, come on, Billy Baker. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> What's the little little towels they be sending uh, selling on Amazon? The magic towels. <laughs> what was that? that? <laughs> A bath bomb towel? <laughs> you gotta look at your audience. You know, G. These niggas say no TikTok. Niggas got too quiet. That Chinese hey, ass invention. Hey, you know we boys. So I got uncomfortable for you. I, I got mad at these two niggas. Like, hold on, I'll leave my nigga. <laughs> hold on, I'll leave that nigga hanging out. <laughs> like, hold on. Like you got the ShamWow uh, uh, top on? Yeah, <laughs> Patreon. Uh, basically, you subscribe to Patreon. We dropped a new episode on there last week. Um, Oh yeah, Pat has comedy show. Comedy show November seventeenth, uh, seven o'clock. Uh, there'll be uh, two other comedians that will be there to uh, open for me, but I'll be closing. Got about twenty minutes for y'all. Um, hit me up in my IG DMs. This personal IG DM, personal, and, and not also, the Crash Dummies one. Stop also, hitting us up. And also that day, uh, before that, uh, before Pat's performance, uh, Gene. And his crew have a performance to go ahead. Yep, yep. Well, my performance is first. First, yep. Yeah. And the after party is at Oh, yeah, yeah. Yours club. is first. Yours is yeah, yeah. first. <laughs> <laughs> Mike giving out false information. And then we're going to go watch uh, Gene and the That's cronies perform. You, nigga, you nigga gonna miss go? both events and shit. Fucking with you. They're going to be at his shit too early. <laughs> they be like, oh, shit, past shit about to start and come to my shit and it's over. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, Mike, hold me, bro. <laughs> they can miss everything. Go ahead, Gene. Yeah, yeah. We're going to th- we throw the after party for you. You know, okay, make, yeah, let's do it. it special, you know what I'm saying? Let's so do it. Nobody price. over 300 pounds. Because we're going to have food. <laughs> right, that was be fun, the cronies well, only release party, you know what I'm saying? We're going to turn up at the Cactus Club down in Bayview in Milwaukee. So if you're in the how's that club, How's that directed towards you? No, it's that's not, not directed. I, I don't think you're directed towards me, but why you got to make it about food and weight? And then look at me. <laughs> I never <laughs> looked at him. I look at him. I look back at Gene. I seen a corner of your retina. <laughs> <laughs> But, hey, Why are you watching me so fatly? I mean, closely. <laughs> we're gonna be at Why both events. Fat, nigga? We're gonna be at both events, so make sure y'all come this through. This nigga look like a black, well dressed samurai. Oh my god! Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> nigga, Mike dressed like an urban ninja. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, come on. <laughs> You hate cops just because they're cops? The next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, no cap. <laughs> but I know a crackhead ain't gonna accidentally shoot me though. They're gonna find anything you need right, right. away. It's gonna cost me a lot hours. less dealing with a crackhead. <laughs> Crackhead, if you could mm-hmm. actually, if there was like a crackhead service, which there really is, mm-hmm. if you think about it. Crackhead service can, is real. Yeah, you and can get a crackhead to, to help you with anything. Oh, you yeah, can just yeah, be like, hey, bro, I'll give you $20 <laughs> to hold my car on your back while I change my wheel. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm playing. But no, but for real, if you need help working on your car, they come help you. Like, hey, bro, just hold this. I'll give you $20. A regular nigga not doing that shit. Like, Why am I paying them $20? Bro, I'm not about to walk. If I see you working on your car and I don't know you, you'd be like, bro, hey, $20 if you hold this hood up for me. Like, nigga, get off my dick, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I look like helping you, nigga. For I, would, $20? I probably would have done it for free. Nah, it depends on what the dude look like. Yeah, and it depends the area. If, if he's grimy, you ain't helping him. <laughs> <laughs> nigga got a BMW, like you hating and shit. Nigga, call AAA. You got it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, am I helping you? Fuck. Having AAA is like the, the one thing you never want to invest in. Yeah. But the time that something happens to you. At one time, bro. I just, I had, Isn't yeah, I just it had like a, a dollar a month? Yeah, something like that. But yeah, it's like twenty dollars for the year or some shit, or like sixty dollars, some shit like that. Yeah, because they know it's gonna rarely happen, so they that's how they get you in. That shit cool though. Like you can get volcano. You, got, you cool? can you get got, volcano insurance for like I ten don't got cents. Triple A, but I got Verizon assistant, roadside assistant, so same thing. You Verizon? Verizon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, nigga. Hey, good. Phone, if you phone can phone. make if you can make it to that next cell tower, we'll help you. <laughs> you know, we only help at the cell tower, dog. No, that shit good. Like Verizon, that phone company. Yeah, and they come a little fast too. Verizon, the phone company. <laughs> pause, 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 yeah. pause, 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 pause. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, like wait, a minute, wait 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 a minute. We could have kept moving like adults. We could have. We nah, could have. I, I didn't say nothing direct. <laughs> nothing direct. You sucking them niggas out soon as they hey, <laughs> no. Bro, why they got to immediately be niggas? Freaky. <laughs> Freaky, man. Hey, yeah, them niggas come fast, too. Yeah, they got to work for it. <laughs> oh, niggas is sick, bro. I'll oh, go ahead, go ahead. Woo. You used it before though? Yeah, they can't. Hey, hey, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 please let me get this off. No way, this nigga vocabulary is so small. He is forced to say, nigga, like I ain't got it in me to say another six. What he say? They arrived. There you go, bro. Like, in a timely manner. He was about to repeat the same thing because his voc. He wanted to change it, but his but vocab wouldn't was allow it to, so he just said the same. No, sentence. I thought we was past that. <laughs> okay. Are you thinking? Are you thinking you just said again? If nigga say pause. I thought it was a rap. Is that the we rule? Y'all see that I ain't mean it. Yeah, okay, I took it that, that way. That is the rule, though. Is it? Do you no, see? you got to pre-pause, and then it just, you got to cancel out first. But once no, you say you it. you got to cancel shit, nigga. As soon as you get paused, after the pause, you can keep going. Okay, my fault. I ain't know the rules. Go ahead. But yeah, they arrived in like... <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, next we moving what the on. What the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? Nah, it is, I'm, we're never gonna get through this story, bro. No matter what you say, bro. No, I was thinking the other day is, um, I'm glad I don't like guys don't have birth control. Like, what if it was up to us? We had to take the birth control. Niggas be borrowing birth control like a mug. Like, hey, bro. I fucked up, bro. I left my shit at the crib. Like, no, nah, bro. Only got this week left, bro. You're not taking one of my pills, bro. <laughs> hey, get, get that nigga placebo. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think more guys will take it, though, than, than women do. Because, you know, women, it affects them, like, a little mm. differently with, like, the hormones and stuff like that. They probably have us but in guy, our hormones. Yeah, guys don't really give a fuck about that type of shit. It'd be so, uh, it, it'd be so many fights at Lifetime Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, I said pass the fucking ball, guys. <laughs> niggas gonna be fighting. Why y'all niggas not passing me the ball, guys? <laughs> For real. Nigga just sitting in the corner watching y'all run, pick and roll. Get a nigga involved, nigga. <laughs> y'all ever got hold on a pickup spot? Never. Pick up. What type of pickup spot? Like pickup basketball. Nah. What is pickup spot, though? That's crazy. Like, you know, I got next. Oh, oh. never. That shit dead. I used to get down. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I did. It, 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 if you when I was younger, yeah, yeah when I was younger, younger. No, but like you know, old enough to where you could do something. About no, it. never. No, I'm standing on business. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing in the court. Yes, with like, the ball in my hand, I had next. Yeah, yeah. Like, but as a kid, that shit was dead. I'd be like, I'd be like, I got next, and yeah. they'd be like, <laughs> yeah, like, they'd be like, hell no, little nigga. You walk onto, you'd walk on the court with your five, and then yeah. the, the grown folks walk on, and yeah. just like, just like when I was younger, box you out the way. Yeah, when I was like twelve. And I was like, we used to hoop in the hood and shit. I'd go find the toughest nigga, especially if he just got there yeah. after me. I'd be like, hey, big dog, I got next. Especially if I was by myself. I'd be like, hey, big dog, I got next. And you could pick the other three people. That's That, that was... And that. then now I got big dog with <laughs> yeah, me. And then they trying that. to hold me because I'd be like, I got next. Knowing I got this big ass nigga behind me. This is... Yeah, nigga, we got next. Like, yeah, yeah. let that nigga. Hey, and the nigga always garbage too. Yeah. Be like, hey, I gotta ride with my nigga though. Yeah. He shoot. Yeah. Yeah. They gonna shoot me. To think about the niggas that the killers. If they were actually good at, uh, it was only like three of them I knew that were actually pretty good at basketball. Like, oh yeah, yeah, because usually they, yeah, yeah, that's tough. <laughs> but usually the dude, the toughest dude in the hood, do very well at basketball because nobody's following this nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hated hooping with the dude. I hated hooping with the guys that you knew if you followed them, it's gonna turn into like a 10 minute, 15 minute argument. About I had too many fights for me. No, I like that because when I was fresher as a kid and I wanted to fight somebody, I just go to the park. <laughs> I thought about as an adult. Let me follow though. this nigga today. I'm talking about as, as an adult though. 
You know those, those dudes that always say follow everything. At the oh gym, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like fam. These niggas, niggas be niggas, crying. Niggas be, you gotta, they, you gotta. They, they hit you with the you a football player, bro. This ain't football. That type of shit. Like, no, that's like, that's how I get niggas like that. I follow them for real, and then make sure they call a foul, and then I start playing tough defense, and then eventually your team gonna turn on you. Like damn, bro, you gonna keep calling foul? That wasn't yeah. even that bad. Like yeah, see this nigga a hoe. I told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that shit. Don't man. pass that nigga the rock. <laughs> I you ever see I was watching the uh the boondocks this past weekend and it was the episode when people were talking with the the Bluetooth headphones and how mm. you can never tell if somebody you know the age I don't know if you, you know a like Bluetooth headset like when you wear it on one ear. Yeah, it's a little ass one and you can talk to people on it. <laughs> I hate the way you like <laughs> all right. Like, <laughs> that nigga, sometimes when like you try to like, <laughs> It's like dumbing it down and then it's like nigga it, it like dumb dumbing it down. I think Key gonna make sure hey nigga I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah, nigga. Exactly, niggas. But uh remember like those days because it was only on one side, so you always thought people were talking to themselves. Mm. And my dad was the keen of that shit. Yeah. I never noticed my dad talking to me or not. I'd be like, what the fuck? Is this nigga talking to himself? I think that's it's better. It was better back then because at least sometimes depending on what side of the Face you on, you can yeah. catch and see if they on the phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But AirPods are way worse. You to think me. so? I think I think Bluetooth was worse because it's only on one ear. I know, but AirPods is just like you're not like I don't know. It just don't feel like you, your hand never going there. You never lean into one side. <laughs> you just talking. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I was talking in the um the line to one of my cousins, and I'm just like, man, fuck all that shit. And the lady was like, excuse me. <laughs> and I'm looking at her like, not you, but I was already staring at her yeah. and shit. But I don't know what the fuck she was looking at, though. You're, you're, you ever been at the <laughs> you ever been at the grocery store and you, the the total starts like totaling, and then you start looking at the price and it starts going a little higher than mm-hmm. what you think. I mean, they're like, it'd be like I'm like one forty five. In my head, I was already calculating maybe eighty like, bucks. It'd be like four things, bro. <laughs> That's Target, bro. Yeah, and you start looking at the yeah, last Target, three. I do math in the line too. Yeah, so it's looks like a hundred, and I see like there's like the meats and like the eggs and shit still left. I'd be like, all right, it's gonna be like. 200, 210, yeah. and shit like that. I always like overdo it. I just yeah. like, oh, it's 756, $8. You, you think, know, I like. You think if this was a normal thing at the, the cash register, they would let it happen? Like, say you get your total, say it's like 245, and they'd be like, hey, would you like to send anything back? Because you know, like on Amazon, right? If you put something in your cart, four things in your cart, and you see the total, you can then, you know, remove something from the uh, the cart that you might not need as much. Mm. If they did that in real life, where it's like you get to, the, especially with groceries, because sometimes I'd be getting up there, I'd be like, eh, maybe I don't need. This. And it's just the <laughs> fact that it doesn't look like they're, I think it's a good sale tactic. Yeah. Because they ask, I think grocery sales would definitely go down. Yeah. You know, you watching somebody like, damn, you going to. You got three milks. All these going to stay yeah. unspoiled the whole time? <laughs> you know what? You right, man. As I like coming to your line, Donald, you a real nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah. trying to look out for you, bro. Yeah, because that definitely would make them less money. Yeah, ain't no such thing as a cool cashier. <laughs> Nigga's life already in shambles. But I think... I think- <laughs> I think the, the future fastest cashier. The future of stores are probably going to be like how the Amazon stores are now, right? Like the walk in, take whatever you need. Yeah, take order and it will automatically. So it is like, that Pfizer forum thing is dope. Where they like can you just set the food on there and it automatically scans what you oh, have? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just wonder, like, what's the tactic of stealing going to be back for that part? Like, are huh? you just going to, like, I'm, I'm wondering, like, the, the different methods of stealing people are going to use when those stores become, like, covering the barcode or some shit. Oh, yeah. When, when, you, when you scan, what if you put your face under the scan yeah. and it puts $9.99, nigga? That's all you worth. <laughs> you know some shit I've done before? Like, nigga worth 10 bucks. What, back in college, what I used to do sometimes. <laughs> Badass slave, what? <laughs> back in college, what I used to do sometimes, especially when you have to weigh stuff. I would like put it on the scale, but like lift it up just a little bit. So it's like, <laughs> say you get like eight bananas or some shit, and then you put it on the scale, you just kind of lift it up so then the weight's less. So then you get a cheaper banana. Nigga, saving 19 <laughs> cents? <laughs> nah, nah, but nah. you just put it in the bag. Nah, nah. If you start doing like ground beef and shit like that, oh, and yeah. Then go by true. a pound, yeah. True. It was really Until true. the machine go off, like, no, we ain't got no beef this small, man. <laughs> 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 Big beast in here, nigga. Pause. Man, Dingo beast. What y'all on? Huh? Man, Dingo beefs. No small that, beefs. That's the point. That's it? the point. We was trying to... See, we knew you... No, no, so no. Niggas, no. You're talking about beef, niggas. Freaky. As soon as I would have said that... No, because the you do that shit. When you do that shit, it just you just sound too confident. Yeah, We're yeah. obviously being sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, "Oh, what you say last episode? Like, oh, I'll sarcastic. finish him." You no, was like, no, "Oh, no, I'll no. finish him." You said, "I, I finished, <laughs> I finished him." You didn't mean to say that. Yeah, y'all can't tell I'm being sarcastic. No, you no, definitely no, wasn't you, being sarcastic. No. You said you were finishing, nigga. 
No, I didn't. <laughs> you won't. Speaking of I said uh, finish, niggas, um, speaking of niggas that, that have been finished, <laughs> um, a nigga, <laughs> hey, Lori Harvey, yeah, that was pretty good. Lori Harvey what? and um, he hit that shit. And, <laughs> <laughs> Lori Harvey and Damson are are, are over with. Good. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> I like when celebrity that, that couples question, break up. Though. It's like it make everybody focus on what they need to be focusing on. But it was too many people <laughs> invested in that relationship. Why don't you go out and do a better job at your job, nigga? I wonder though at this point too like, with her because the some of the comments I was seeing like uh, out there were saying that her relationship status is taking over what she actually does, like over like shine over what she actually does for a living. What does she do for a living? A uh, per, uh, personality. Then what do you mean? That is what she does for a living. It's a public figure. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, just a public figure. I think yeah, that's pretty much. Steve that's a pretty good job to have. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously it's tougher than what we think. You know, a lot of people think like content creators. I get it all the time. People she be, don't even create content. She don't talk. But she What's she, she posts pictures though. Yeah, that's creating content, and I feel like yeah. part of her aura is like the mysterious mysteriousness about her. So she's like, a model. As many <laughs> just chill, kid. It's definitely gonna break your brain for sure. You try to think of <laughs> ass niggas, bro. That's what that is. Nah, kid, the only thing I know that scratch his head when he confused. Yeah, nigga. Nah, that nigga brain be tight. <laughs> no, the brains I'm crispy. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody said you had no hang time. They hating, bro. But that's hey, like the style, though. Hating. Like the style. It's it's always, I bet you that nigga ball headed. It's, it's always, always ball. There's no nigga with hair. Every nigga with hair know they've been at that point before, yeah. and knowing that nigga going through a progress. It's always a nigga with the fade talking about ball head ass niggas. <laughs> niggas be having patches, and people, no waves. <laughs> people, goofy niggas. People be wearing their braids short now too. That's kind of like a thing. Really? Yeah. Yes, yeah, though. Oh. It's a style now. You like not all the way. Uh, but that's that's why short. My shit go past my ear. That's why I cut my shit all the time. I grab my locks every year and I cut that shit to like. Half a finger length type shit. I think a Gene be cutting his hair, it'd be thinking he'd go through a whole transition. This nigga uh, yeah. Sir Cruz. No, th- let me tell you about Gene. <laughs> this nigga Gene has been vegan for like two weeks. That's pretty good. Two years. A nigga saved the nah. Gene <laughs> saved a bird. Nah, this nigga, how do you? How can you be vegan after you already ate meat? After you said you're a vegan, were you, you there? Your mind. Vegetarian, yes. vegetarian, vegetarian, vegetarian. Now he's vegetarian. This, nah, I've never n- been vegan. This nigga was vegan, <laughs> vegetarian, pescatarian, pescatarian. He did the carnivore diet. This nigga's tried everything. Yeah, it was the time he was only eating meat. <laughs> <laughs> they say y'all know what? Protein, big protein. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I saw this crazy. I saw a video of a um, of a dude playing uh, musical chairs with um with a girl and like how aggressive. Uh, musical chairs used to be. That's what mm. kind of Musical chairs used to be so so aggressive, bro. Yeah. They used to push niggas out their seat, out the seat <laughs> <laughs> after they sat down and shit. Hell There's yeah. always that badass kid. <laughs> Y'all play musical chairs? Hell yeah! At every school I've been to. <laughs> oh damn, they be going crazy in special ed. You know the worst. <laughs> 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 Only key laugh hard. <laughs> the 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 worst part I used this to see is stupid. The worst part I used to see. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> Chill out if I call Verizon, nigga. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> get jumped like, oh, I'm not call Verizon, we bro. We didn't even finish that, that whole cop of Verizon. That shit is crazy. You'd be like, Verizon, hey, this for cell phone service or car insurance. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Hey, that is wild. A little bit My of bo- nigga, it's an app. It's a roadside be, assistance. Be like, a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> a, nigga, a nigga drive to Florida. They call you talking about, nigga, you roaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which one? <laughs> I got to stay conspicuous. You would never. Oh, my God. Uh, you would never I, think a nigga I, no. from roadside hey, assistance is coming to help out the car. What's the definition of conspicuous? <laughs> no, he's right. Of, of is he? he just said it. Weird. Okay. This nigga don't know the no. Play the definition, nigga, so you can look stupid. I mean, you taught me a new word. I didn't know conspicuous. Oh. <laughs> Do you know the worst part of like the school games was Duck Duck Goose because there was always the fat kid oh, getting picked to, <laughs> to run around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the worst part be like niggas be walking around and shit like while the kids running. So because I don't I think you can pick the same person over and over. No, you're not allowed to pick the same person over and over. What what do you play that at? <laughs> at Walt Disney. Walt Disney. You play Walt Disney? No, that was my school. That's my scam. elementary school. I went to Walt Disney Magnet School. Magnet nigga, school? That yeah. nigga uh Mike playing. It was actually Walt Disney. That nigga yeah. playing one on one uh duck duck goose with Barty. <laughs> I'm gonna pick you again, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out that soup. <laughs> Here we go, man. Y'all 
gonna make. Don't make me mad. I'll audition again. <laughs> no, you will probably make it this time. Yeah, I might be Barney. You're you're old enough now, Michael. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> that sound like it. That <laughs> ass. That's, that, did the joke fly over your head? What? No, I was saying. I think the joke flew over his head. What over who? You said out he's the old enough now. I was thinking because I was young back then, so he can't do nothing. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I, he understand that. <laughs> I did. He was coming no, out the didn't. suit. I did. I just looked at you. No, he didn't get it. I, I swear to God, I, I, I've been knowing you too long. Young, yeah, he you didn't get it. You a fucking lie. <laughs> That nigga ain't got no defense, but you alive. You know a nigga did it. Objection, nigga. Nigga don't, <laughs> nigga don't need to Nigga, what you had at the source? He's pretty Why does the nigga saying all these words? Yeah, nigga, key the elevator time. Uh-uh. Okay, I mean, use that motherfucker right there. Arbitrary. How to say that's some bullshit. This nigga uh-huh. dressed like a archaeological... If you black s- man. if you spell that I, black if, you, man. if you spell archaeology, you didn't say that though. I didn't say that. Look at this. I don't know. Archaeological is a word. Archaeologist, a no, black archaeologist. No, that's, that's, not what you said. that's not what you said. That's what I meant. All right, all right. Next topic. <laughs> that's all, all right. Prosecutors are uh, introducing evidence for the YSL case and using lyrics. Um, here's some of the lyrics. Um, I shot as a, I shot as I shot at his mommy. Now he no longer mentioned me. Mm, but that could mean if I'm the lawyer, I'm like, no, he shot his shot at somebody mama. Mom, yeah. And mm. not a stepson no longer mentioned me because I don't mess with his mom's no All more. Right, so there that, you go. That's so, gone. So the rest of <laughs> Throw that out. Yeah. So I got you. The rest of these lyrics. YSL. So for the so for the rest of these <laughs> yeah. lyrics, for the rest of these lyrics, I want you to find a defense to it. All right. All right, back. So you. you're the you're the YSL defend uh, defenders. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I just beat a murder rap. Pay my lawyer thirty for that. Me and my slimes above the law. Oh, shit. We ain't, ain't no getting out of this say, one. Say, say that one more time, uh, Your Honor. <clears throat> I just beat a murder rap. Paid my lawyer thirty for that. Okay. Me and my slimes above the law. Got you. Okay, so I just beat a murder rap. There's a battle rapper called Murder Mook, and I said I just beat Murder Mook in a battle rap, and I paid my lawyer. 30k because we had to get the YouTube video drop from URL and they won't let it happen. So I'm in a ba- you know legal battle URL. We can't really talk about that though. Me and my slimes above the law. Me and my slimes above the law. It's some cops that hang around the neighborhood. They be talking to the same girls that we be talking to. So we feel like we <laughs> above them and that's that. Sure, I ain't mean nothing else by that. Okay, let's go. YSL. All right. Honestly, truth be told, YSL don't fold. Pick his ass off from the balcony. YSL and Oh, YSL wipe a nigga nose. Okay, so first when I say pick a nigga off from the balcony, um, it was this dude, he was trying to throw a, a football to his friend from the balcony, and I ran, caught that motherfucker, picked that motherfucker off. And you know, sometimes once you know, you ever seen somebody with a snotty ass nose and they got their hands full? Yeah. And I heard you have them, hey, let me wipe your nose real quick. <laughs> really, you know, YSL gentlemen. So. Okay. Um, Damn, your honor. I, I rep my life for real. For slimes, you know, I kill. Mm. Say that one more time. I rep my life for real. For slimes, you know, I kill. So my favorite candy is called slimes. I kill for them. Honestly, like <laughs> you know the saying. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I love slimes. All right. My favorite kind of candy. All right. This one's gonna be a tough one. Local, local mate, you probably won't, can't, can't look that up. This one's gonna be a tough one. Hey, how you doing? I'm Yak Gotti. I got bodies on bodies. Oh, he said, Yeah, I'm Yak Gotti. I got bodies on bodies on bodies. Yeah. Hey, man, I used to get around in college. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of girls in college. I got bodies. That's how we talk. That's very vulnerable, too, just so you know. Appreciate that, man. Like I, you know, I ain't know we were slut shaming in court today. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, all right, it might be a good one. Hey, higher patterns. Yeah, come on, no, you know what I'm saying. Free thought. Keep free thought. Keep R. Kelly. Let's keep it moving. 
<laughs> Keep that nigga for real. Just not very all the attention to R. Kelly. Like, y'all ain't. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. I want a cookie. Stop. If I was the lawyer too, I'd be like, R. Kelly said he admitted it. And y'all <laughs> niggas still didn't take that nigga to jail. <laughs> nah, I'd be mad as hell, bro. And you talked to me about, uh, but that's kind of crazy though, using rap lyrics in, in uh, court. Yeah, because everybody know there's. Some true to rap. Some true yeah. to not. Some not. Some shit. Everything don't rhyme. So yeah. I might have to sometimes spin a block on a um, invisible op. I think sometimes rap is like a comedy in a sense where like it's a true story. You know how in comedy it's like, it's like a true story sometimes, but they kind of add a little pizzazz that might yeah. change the scene. Yeah. Yeah. So I think rap is probably it's like story that too. Teller. You can literally be talking about I slid <laughs> on Buddy and them. They ain't even know what happened. Right. Yeah. In our head, we like, damn, he must have. Did a drive by, killed all them niggas, or you got out the car and like just talk shit to them. Like, yeah, yeah. we could have got y'all ass and hop back in. You know what I mean? Like yeah. niggas be over exaggerating. I hate when people. Do, I hate when I hear people say that sometimes. What? We could have. We could have did that. We could have. Uh, we could have shot your ass right here, but we sparing you. Like nigga, don't spare ain't no, me. We, ain't no, don't spare me, nigga. Show me what you could have did. <laughs> what y'all niggas ain't have gas money or something? Like, what's going on? <laughs> y'all niggas ain't have enough money for the Uber? Like, <laughs> tell me why you ain't slide on me. You know exactly where I was. It was five now, o'clock. The, but I don't know, street politics is, is interesting because sometimes people be like, oh, he was with his kid. That's why I didn't do nothing to him. That's why I didn't let him live. Yeah. Uh, I get it. That's so weird to me. Like, you want to kill it. Just, yeah, if it's just it's like. based the, off your own morals. The, but what is morals? There's no morals if in If you already kill him. Yeah. But everybody say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's a weird line. I was like, I, I mean, in my head, I'm like, okay, that's good that you don't want to traumatize. At the end of the day, though, you're taking those. You're gonna you try to take somebody away from there. No, I get it though. What, if, what if somebody so so look at this situation? He killed somebody you know, mm-hmm. right? And you about to kill somebody, you about to go kill him for revenge, and mm-hmm. he with a kid. Yeah. He's like, damn, I can't do this in front of your kid. So but, I feel like it's that like No, I understand that. That's like So if the it's like on a revenge stuff, but if you like a nigga but, that's out here catching bodies and you talking about that, like nigga, your morals already out the window. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You out here killing this. <laughs> Anyway, let's get to lose. Uh, I said losers. Uh, let's get to uh, listener callers. Niggas want to go to hell. No, we, no, we don't. We don't. <laughs> no, them niggas do. Uh, I'm saying they want to go to hell. They gonna sound like uh, some fajitas down there. <laughs> the fajitas coming. <laughs> this listener caller section is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Uh, this app is an easy way to make cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states. Make sure you support the show and click the link in the bio and download the Underdog Fantasy app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100 when you use the code DUMMIES, D-U-M-M-I-E-S, because I know some dummies really don't know how to spell dummies. So they'll match They'll match it up to $100 when you use the promo code DUMMIES. Make sure you click the link in the bio, use the code DUMMIES, to, and support the show. Thank you, Underdog, for sponsoring this segment. Hello. How's it going? Oh, it's going good. Hey, guys. I just want to say I'm a Patreon listener, so haha. Oh. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. You a beast. Yeah. Welcome to Crash, <laughs> welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm doing a dance. Where, where are you from? You doing a dance? What dance are you doing? Uh, this is Lakeland. Um, <laughs> Lakeland, Florida? I, no, ew. Don't be gross. I live in PG County, but I don't sound like it because I'm suburban. Mm, okay. I don't even know what that is. That <laughs> you said, mm, like you know, where 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 uh, PG it's County like, at? It's like okay, it's in Maryland, but it's not DMV. Baltimore. Baltimore is like disgusting. <laughs> I know it's a DMV. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because the PGs, because uh, battle rap, battle rap. All right, uh, <laughs> I got a que- I got a question for you. Yeah. So, what's an opinion that you have that will make people look at you differently? Okay. I'm actually so glad that my uh, brother's mom's not home because it's going to sound wild. But there's nothing wrong with eating male booty, okay? Bend that ass over. Let that bussy breathe. For real. Okay? You said like, bussy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that in your vocab or you just brought that out today? No, I mean, I like saying that word. How do you I even go know. about like approaching that you want to do something like that? Well... My current boyfriend won't let me, which sucks. But usually, you just like, you know, when you get drunk or sober, you're like, hey, you got a fat ass. I'd eat that. And then you and then you wait for them. You know what I'm can saying? Can you say the that first, line again? I said, you know, you got a fat ass. Let me eat that. You know what I'm saying? But like. Why are you so you, aggressive? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> you say your boyfriend? <laughs> you tell your boyfriend he got a fat ass? 
Yeah, but he won't let me eat it. That's What's okay. his response? No, you tell him. No, nah, you definitely tried before. He will. Yeah, yeah, you know. But like, you gotta wait because you know. Usually, uh, like, I've eaten like three asses before, and like, usually, <laughs> like <laughs> the first month they're like, no, no, and the second month they're like, no, the third month they're like, no, but then eventually, you know, what I'm saying. Oh, you walk it. Oh, you, you walking them niggas down. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Premeditated ass eater. No, that's crazy. So, so the <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Hey, we don't king shame on this podcast. We though, do. So you can, nah, do. yeah, yeah. Do you, do. you, you do. can eat do. as many asses as you want. Just know it's three uppercuts this way. <laughs> <laughs> we got three of them for you. That's a weird. That's, that's an you odd number. Stick up your butt. Let a girl take you out and lick it. Exactly. Whoa. No. Nah, that's crazy. Ew, no. <laughs> nah, that's that's insane. Make sure, hey, whatever event you have, make sure you bring your own cup. <laughs> Aw, see? You can just brush your teeth. Everything will be fine. Nah. Everything <laughs> not fine. You know, like uh <laughs> You're not making it into heaven. You know that. Why? Hundred percent. Da da da. God not having that. There's people doing. There's people doing way more wild shit than. Yeah, that. yeah. They not making it either. But that's. I feel like that's like the. <laughs> no, I don't think ass. That's cut, cut off. off. I rather you know <laughs> what happened. Let's take it back to the days where y'all was killing niggas. Like. <laughs> <laughs> what if you don't think Suki's going to heaven? You know what I'm saying? He want to switch. No, I'm eating his ass. You don't think you know. So that, when, that, when, that, when that song came out, you must have been like, that must have been your anthem, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, so like, th- does it throw you off that your boyfriend won't let you eat his ass? Like, are you <sighs> waiting? Like, are you trying? Are you, are you are you constantly trying every day, like, waiting for him to slip up and just be like, go ahead? <laughs> that sounds like great. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you draw the line, huh? <laughs> You know, you just that's you a just weird gotta, way to put it though. You say wait for him to slip up because she say that's the no. <laughs> listen, what she say like one month, two months, three months, four months. So I'm just saying she's still actively waiting for him to just like cave and finally no, be know, like. I know what you meant. I was just saying the way you said. Oh that yeah, slip up. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga slip in the shower. Talking about Bay, help. She like nah, stay just like that. <laughs> Damn. Nah, you. Yeah. All right. All right. Get um. You got to go get a cloth right now. <laughs> some floss. Put some soap on that. Mother. Now you have a good day. You too. <laughs> Little ass eating ass. <laughs> Nasty ass. <laughs> Little roguish ass. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hey, man. What's good? Yeah, what's popping? What's popping? Why you sound like you're under the covers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the podcast right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you... Yeah, no, we just uh, we just called to talk to you as normal humans. Yeah, we was worried about you. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Uh, man, <laughs> nothing, dude, nothing. Get, sarcasm just flies uh, yeah, over yeah, some yeah. niggas' heads. What up, bro? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. What's up? Well, well, I, I'm good. I'm good right now. Just chilling. I, I had a question for you. You, you a boring ass nigga. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So what is a... Nah, what, I'm what, sorry, I'm sorry. You, you, I, I'm sorry. It's just that English isn't my, my first language, so I, I'm quite okay, hesitant. Dude. Now I don't give a yeah. fuck. No. <laughs> now I got a question for you. What's an opinion that you have that will make people look at you differently? <laughs> well, at the beginning, you know, uh, I was like, well, uh, I ain't never going to be a cock. But, you know, I've been kind of forced uh, upon it. And, well, uh, I mean, I've come to terms with it. And it's, it's rather enjoyable, to be honest. So what's your role? What, what, what do you do? You're gonna laugh. Well, uh, I, I worked in cinema, and you know I, I've met my my husband, uh, not my husband, Paul's, my my partner, uh, which who's a woman uh, <laughs> on the terms of a trip. I promise. I promise she's a woman. No, 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 you good. Good, 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 good. That's a crazy ass mistake to make. Husband, wife, they don't rhyme or nothing. This is my first thing. <laughs> But yeah, so I met her, and she she was bad. She was bad, bro. Like she was really, really bad. And we've entered a relationship, and you know she started to get freaky. And uh, one thing about me is that I'm really, really vanilla. 
like there's no fetish, no no nothing. Like I'm not free girl. Like it's doggy ma- maximum, and then you go to sleep, you know. <laughs> so we've had a lot of convos about it on the bed. And she was like, yeah, I like such and such. And I was like, not really vibing with that but, uh, on the, uh, the first time. You know, I was like, keep your crazy shit, you know, for for another time. But it started to threaten the relationship. You know, she was like, yeah, you know, sex isn't as enjoyable if I don't do that, if I don't do that and that. So I was like, mm, fuck it, why not? Why not? And she mentioned so uh, having you know uh, a three way, and I was like, okay, I'm down. Even though I, I wasn't down, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so she forced you to do a three way. Yeah, yeah, I got forced to do a three way, and it wasn't even with a girl. Uh, it was with a, another guy. And uh, <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> what did she say to get you to do that? He just, he already well, uh, yeah. well uh, what did you, what did she say? Well, we we was on the bed, uh, you know, chilling and all that after we we were done doing the deed, you know. And she was like, "Yeah, I will really want to try that with, with you, you know, to expand our relationship." And I was like, "So after yeah. you, you got done having sex, and then she says, <laughs> hey, we need one more nigga.'" <laughs> 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 She was like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. We gotta double this. <laughs> Cause this shit. <laughs> That's how small your dick is. She was like, immediately. <laughs> oh, brother, you're roasting me right now. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know a small dick nigga over so, here. So, so then you had, so you had the three way, right? And so it's you, another dude. Where did this other dude get picked from? Like, what was the the, the choosing process? Did you get to say yes or no? Uh, well, the uh, the first dude and he's the dude uh, that <clears throat> she did the first that's nigga possible. That with us. <laughs> you said what? Uh, he he's a model. Uh, he works with us oh. uh, on set. Okay, what type of is what type of three way is it? Is just both y'all enjoying your woman. Well, uh, at first it was supposed to to be like that, but it took kind of uh, an, an, a turn I wasn't expecting. Uh, because we, please don't laugh <laughs> so I was like yeah uh, so the Jew the Jew come on, come, comes over uh, we're having a, a great night chilling drinking some wine and all that and we start getting you know a little bit freaky and I wasn't able to to get up if you know what I mean so and and my girl and the Jew that came over were was like really 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 heated up. So and I and I had in the heart to tell them, yeah, I, I'm not into it. I'm not into it. Like yeah, yeah, cut that shit off. Like let's stop it. No, I was like yeah. So I, I can't get up. Uh, they can obviously, so I'm, I'm just gonna take a step back, you know, play, play the back seat, and that's what happened. And now it's a, it's a regular thing. I think they, bro. I honestly <laughs> think they spiked your drink, <laughs> so you couldn't, <laughs> so you couldn't get hard. And then dude yeah. knew, and he took a pill to get hard, and that was the whole plan to make you watch the whole time, bro. So you telling me well, you sitting there can't get up? And you looking over there, and you talking about he heated up. So you see, he on rock hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, brother, the brother was rock hard, and I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, I mean, it, it was probably because of stress or whatnot. But yeah, so I took the back seat, and I was like, yeah, I mean, my girl, Angel, my girl, you know, obviously wanted that, so. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna interfere. You know, I'm just gonna play the back seat, and yeah, and it became you know a regular thing. And since you know I woke into the night, he said, he said, you know what? Thanks for letting me fuck your girl. Let's do this on a regular basis, huh? Well, it's my girl that wanted that. Uh, you know, I I I, I was like, uh, yeah, okay, girl, like you, you want to do that? No problem. We're, we're gonna do that. It's an experience. But she wanted it to be, you know, a long-term thing. So actually, I'm sharing her 
uh, yeah, on a regular basis now. Oh, you're and still doing it. This is active contract. Yeah, it's an active contract that Can has been forced upon me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah are, are, are there allowed to be other girls in there then? Or just I'm sorry, what? It can are, can you can it be three way with two girls and you or just one? Yeah, 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 contractually uh yeah, I, I can but um, the whole, the whole point of it uh, was, mm. you know, normally to, you know, expand our relationship like yeah, Let's get some of the guys. Let's get some of the girls. But man, uh, I'm shooting my shot like Westbrook. Like I'm on I'm on a drag spell right now. Like I'm messaging okay. girls. Like, yeah, yeah, it's always night easier in, for night out. yeah. It's always easier well, for women. Yeah, it's always going to be easier for a woman to go into a club and just be like, "Hey, I'm, and find another dude and find another dude." And at, you know, yeah. there's a lot of dudes that will accept fucking your women in front of you. You know what I'm saying? But it's not a lot of girls that would accept that. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I was surprised. I was surprised because so you're, you on know, the, you're on the losing end of this deal right now. Yeah, it's time for yeah, time yeah. for you to get a new contract, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Didn't you say you broke I, up? I mean, I, I, I don't know what to do right now because uh, now it's been going on for like three weeks, and I, I haven't been able to hear a single shot. And I've been having a dude coming over for like three weeks. And like uh, two days a week, yeah. Wow, bro. So yeah, the house. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he be eating my pastas and all that. <laughs> He's eating your food too. I'm, I'm sorry. What? He's eating your food too. Yeah, you see. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And don't laugh at me for that, but uh, <laughs> I, 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 I love cooking, right? And he, he, he eats my fucking food too. Nah. You need to go to the gym, bro, so you can beat his ass. <laughs> Fuck the gym. I, I think you you out of time as far as the gym. You need to find the closest Glock. <laughs> Stab that nigga. Hit him with a chair. All right, bro. Appreciate you for telling your story, bro. Appreciate you for coming. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Keep it up, bro. Keep uh, it up. No, <laughs> you do. <laughs> you try to keep it up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, rascal. That, yeah. Nah, yeah. That's what got this whole thing started. You not keeping it up, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'll try. I'll try and find a, a honey pack. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that. You need to find a manly pack. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up for yourself, nigga. Oh, yeah, I'll try to make it. Hello. Yeah. Oh, it's way clearer now. What you do? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yo. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. All right. What up? What up? What up, nigga? <laughs> was it the would you rather? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got a question for you. Uh, right, would, you would you rather have one clone of a person of your choosing? You can give them any command and they'll obey you or a million dollars? I'm about to take the clone. Who would you clone? I got to clone Ari, man. Ari, like Fletcher? Like, like, money, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Money bag, your girlfriend. Yeah, her. Mm-mm. Don't ask him why. Don't ask him why. All right, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, we not get into that freak shit, man. <laughs> we 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 thought he was gonna do it for like money purposes. <laughs> because you would think that you can make that million dollars back with the person you choose, right? He's he not looking for no money. <laughs> that nigga too far ago, right there. Here go key new album, y'all. Check it out. Huh? It's Patrick Star. I took the five you. I do that three more times again. I test the five you. That's AI though. It's SZA. SZA, but that's AI though. But it's AI though. Yeah. Patrick Still. Star. If they re-sing it, they can do it as a cover. <laughs> yeah. It's a cover. Yeah, it's original. S- sometimes it's it's too big. Be- well, anyway, if you guys didn't hear, it was the Patrick <laughs> Star SZA thingy. This nigga like think he a music exec or some <laughs> shit. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. With last episode got demonetized. If you could sign the up and coming artist right now. Like, let's say you had this big record label. Who mm-hmm. would you sign? Like, and you could take them away from whatever deal they got now. I mean, but they, they but can it, can't, be, it can't be somebody that's, like, a solidified yeah, legend. Yeah, right they now. can't be doing arena. Somebody that's, like, and what's your plan with them? Um, Central C. Mm. You're not doing arenas? 
He definitely doing arenas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, arenas. he opened up. He got a show no, with Drake. He's not. He's, he's not doing arenas. Oh, you not? No. Okay. What's your I plan? Mean, Just features. Yeah, probably more little American features. Because mm, mm. the thing about the UK music market, it, it, he's tops the charts there. But you need to consistently. I think Central C is one of those rappers right now that kind of broke that wave. Like people actually trying to like interested in to hear the slang and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'll would, I would definitely pick. I, I saw a podcast just as like off topic, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. I saw a podcast with the same exact numbers from us. With that, they have the same exact numbers as us as far mm-hmm. as like audio listens, and they're like number two in the UK, like a number two UK ranked because they're from there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. It's just like. They ride for theirs. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. In the UK, it's like, you you popular there, you're pop. They're going to ride for you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. What's I, your- I'd probably do Baby John, because I think that he has a pretty unique sound and he kind of versatile. What would you do? I'd probably do what Mike said, but the opposite. I put him in like the UK. <laughs> so not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like what you said. what he said. Oh, just get him like a more wor- worldwide fan base. Right. I'll be hearing about them rappers going overseas, though. They be going overseas. I feel like I mean, they do. But, but you, like, like the thing about like people rappers, like Fifty Cent's on tour right now. And he's like selling out. Like I seen a big I seen his shit. big ass hanging from like a bungee thing. Yeah, <laughs> I want to know what especially, song that nigga got to be doing especially that. Especially those act, the acts. Mini like, man, he could do that. You could do anything. Acts like in the, in the club. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. like the music videos. <laughs> Musicians like Fifty Cent, Snoop Dogg, Eminem. They they go overseas. The, the it's. It's they sell out vibe. because those people overseas. The thing about like people overseas is like they don't get to see these. They, these concerts don't happen as frequently like how they happen here. You can see somebody at your local. There's always a rapper or a musician coming through the uh, the local theaters here, right? Mm-hmm. But over there, it's like the popular musicians are people in America. Yeah, and it's only so frequently that those people come to their country mm-hmm. to perform. So that's why they go crazy every that's, time. That's the weird thing about like America is that. Like American celebrities are much more loved, um, like away from America. Yeah. The the bigger artists, but the big artists come from America. So mm-hmm. you have to have American fans at some yeah. point to build you up to that point. And I think too, especially these are just like the artists, like Fifty Cent, they have and Snoop Dogg. They have those songs that transcend who they are in a sense where people know the goat, go shawty. Like yeah. some people overseas just know that song. Like mm-hmm. I know people in like Nigeria, they just know. The song, but not really the artist. And those people are just like, especially growing up in a foreign country, sometimes you don't really pay attention to yeah. who the artist is. So when they hear that, oh, that's the guy that's saying "Go Short." So that's when they, that's why the crowds be. You so know, large. you know, I think some of those like songs go viral and they stay there forever because they'll be on like a, a movie that nobody knew was gonna be a great all time movie, <laughs> yeah. and that song is on there. Yeah, like um, what's that one song? Making my way downtown. Like, why does every it was black a white kid? Yeah, why does every <laughs> duh, he does that shit fast as yeah, he does that shit <laughs> he You know, he's niggas like that, don't know about white nah, chicks. Nah, you like that one kid yeah. that finally know the answer to the question. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's two plus four? <laughs> I did that one time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but y'all know, white chicks was a good movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, that's why every like you in the hood, yeah. you heard that because. Everybody used to watch black movies back then if you grew up in the hood. And White Chicks was like a popular mm-hmm. one. And that song was on there. So that song like taking over. Now mm-hmm. people that get those movies late, like some foreign countries, like they only can watch DVDs. Like there's no cable. There's no internet. Like they got DVD players and they play it on TV. And sometimes they get these old American movies which deemed as old. And mm-hmm. they watching White Chicks and they hear that song. And they be like, oh, this artist coming to our country. Shit, <laughs> I know this song. I know that one song. <laughs> There's only no one song. One of her songs. I was songs. just thinking about how Nigerians make movies sometimes, and like, cause they. But when I was in Nigeria, it's like the DVDs in these plastic rappers that did the. No, that was crazy. Him, the plastic rappers. <laughs> I was not fuck with. He said plastic rappers. Hey! Like, hey. But there's plastic rappers and on Nigerian. <laughs> the fuck y'all niggas Let him get this. Start off. N- Nollywood like movies or just just Nigerian Hollywood. <laughs> Nollywood, Nollywood. Yeah, oh, Nollywood. like Bollywood. Yeah, there's yeah. Nollywood. Damn. It's actually fire. like the third top three music. I mean, ho- uh, music film industry. Yeah, that's that's fire. Nollywood yeah. just be high production. Niggawood. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes they make movies so quickly. This is back in the day, just about situations. So like for instance, Lori Harvey and, and Damson Idris just broke up. Right, mm-hmm. there would be a movie next week. 
Lori has moved on. And uh, like, literally about, like that whole like sequence. That's fire. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of fire. <laughs> It'd be like some random shit, like the whole Rihanna and, and um, Chris Brown situation. It was like a movie about that type of shit. Wow. It's so crazy. It's like they'll just come up with like a, it's like, and it's really poor, like low yeah. budget yeah, quality yeah. type shit. These niggas <laughs> filming the next morning. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give me the rundown. How many, oh, this nigga, this a little nigga talented. He <laughs> why he do this? Anyways, let's go. Let's do this shit. <laughs> Oh man, Aki, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, would you rather have to clone a person of your choosing, and you can give them any command and they obey you, or get a million dollars? What answer is Doug? I'm not gonna pick the person. I'm gonna pick the million dollars. Why you wouldn't want to clone somebody? Mm. -mm. If Why the you, fuck I want to clone somebody? If you can clone them and then you have control, they they obey your every command. Hell no! Nah. So you, you can do that now? No, I'm just saying <laughs> you can wait. No, not like that. Wait a minute. Not against their will, nigga. Wait. <laughs> not no, I'm not no tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> so for instance, <laughs> nigga, nigga, the sword is going crazy. The <laughs> tyrant pull. I don't know where you pull tyrant from. That's crazy. Nigga, nigga watching the Game of Thrones or some shit. <laughs> They can watch one uh, documentary about North Korea and shit. <laughs> Tyrant! <laughs> I'm just saying, so you wouldn't like, say you, for instance, you can like clone Drake, right? Uh, make sure you said the right Korea. North Korea. <laughs> I ain't trying to, hey, whatever beef you got with Korea, it's on him. I hope he's still watching this video at this point. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, but um, you can clone Drake, right? And then now you have a clone Drake at your command. You don't think you can make a million dollars with a clone Drake? So I would probably have to like do something fraudulent with the clone Drake. <laughs> yes, exactly. So like I would have to probably get a good marketing team. I would have to make <laughs> Drake. You got Drake, nigga. <laughs> you have Drake. But the real Drake's still alive. It don't matter. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm on? Because you got to think like if, can you get the other thing with the first option, yeah. you know what I'm saying you definitely can. I'm bringing back somebody from the dead. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I'm calling Michael Jackson. No, oh, you went too far. <laughs> That's crazy. That's no, crazy. I probably one get more. a tour. No. tour. I probably get R. Kelly. Like, this nigga do not touch kids. Like, nigga, the clean one. Now he can enjoy his music and yeah. shit. I'm talking about the black mic. Yeah. Oh, you bring back the. You can bring back any mic and make a oh, hell of money. Ain't no bullshit. But you can bring back like famous people that have been uh, dead for for a minute because then you, you know how people still think Tupac alive and shit like that. Right. And then you start really fucking with the paparazzi and be like, oh, I got Tupac's at Starbucks right now. A nigga that look like Tupac and it's like, you start making money off the tabloids, mm. you can make a couple mil. In that case, I clone Biggie. Clone Biggie. Big Mac? Smalls, you fucking oh. bastard. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> nah, nigga, key clone. Hey, you tell the nigga he can clean. Uh, you leave a nigga alone with the clone machine, like, yeah, bro, you can clone anything. You come back, it's two burgers on the table. You're like, <laughs> no, cloning food would be fire. Y'all don't think that's fire? To double the food? Imagine being able to clone food. What food would you double? Nachos. <laughs> Out of all I food, you world hungry with nachos. <laughs> and they're gonna have everybody uh, unhealthy as hell. They're gonna be carb loaded and shit. Uh, life expectancy gonna be 46. <laughs> no, I'm for everybody. Some, I'm gonna have some mac macro friendly nachos. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna put vegetables on? <laughs> no, nigga. What you, you, you oh, is it, what is a jalapeno? <laughs> <laughs> I think a jalapeno is a vegetable. I don't know, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Thesaurus. You tell us. A thesaurus don't tell you what vegetables is I'm out there, nigga. You got all these uh, words and shit figured out. I was supposed to make up a word, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you had before, though. No, you had. Nuh uh. Quint yeah, to quint a quintuple. No, no, it was Aiden. Quintuple. 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 You said oh. quintuple. But it, it, it sounds the same and it's spelled the same. I just didn't say it properly. Yeah, so, so technically, you, I ain't make up a word. I just said it wrong. Oh, that nigga just described dumb in the most. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> crazy. Uh, process that. Adam 22 is uh, letting women um, doing a show. So to see who can um, have sex with his wife That shit always get under key skin I just can't believe somebody Like you do what you do But to just like <laughs> See you can't That's why I hate when people do that You do you But it's like If you tell me to do me because like, let me do me Don't don't. That means you can't say anything else But you can have an opinion on something <laughs> Yeah 
But uh, so I'm saying I don't have a problem with it. But <laughs> that shit freaky as hell. <laughs> I think they're leaning into the so for people that don't know he's doing like a competition where it's like seven dudes almost like the bachelor for who can <laughs> and they're gonna do a threesome I think two guys oh my god on Lena yeah well him and another guy with uh, his his uh Lena what the fuck so but my guess is they already had know who's gonna do it yeah they're probably gonna pick whoever's the most professional porn star there yep. And then that's it. Yeah, but I don't know. This is just getting the weird, other person or just the other people are just at it for like I think Crip Max on it. It's just getting too. <laughs> not, no, he's not going. He not going. He, yeah, he not. Crip Max not getting picked. We all know. Crip we not. Max, he you yeah. know he not getting yeah. picked. Yeah. Oh, they all doing it with Neon and Crip Mac and all them people for real. Yeah, but they, but there's a I think there's a porn star in the group. There yeah. might be two porn stars in the group, and they're gonna pick one of them too for sure. Oh, okay, okay. yeah. So they're gonna throw you off by eliminating the first porn yeah. star. Like, oh, it could be anybody, and they ain't gonna pick the porn star at the end. They Adam gonna keep her professional. Like, he's yeah. not all the nah, way. Crazy. He's not. He's not gonna want to I mean, tag team it. We got this far, like shit. Now he's not gonna let a regular do. He's not gonna let it because the the people. I'm guessing like the porn people, they keep it professional. Yeah. Like to his point, like, you know, they're not going to get on the internet and be like, I fucked your wife. Like everybody knows I'm a porn star. That's my job. Yeah. Imagine it's, you let Crip Mac. Yeah. If you like Crip and then, and then like. Y'all beef and shit. And I y'all beef and he just keep playing a video on 54, shit. Yeah. 54. Right, fifth. right here is where she started loving it, nigga. And then like keep rewinding it. Like, that yeah. shit crazy. What he, what, what's going on for Clout? Yeah. I thought you said, oh, uh, oh. He got us talking about the shit. <laughs> <laughs> After, um. Oh no, I got you. So popular web uh popular chat website Omegle announces plans to shut down after 14 years. Mm. And it, it said it due to like inappropriate content and obviously the the weirdo people. What the fuck? After 14 years? Right. Yeah. I didn't see Because you know like there'd be like old dudes on there, any there's like no like age stuff and yeah. like, it's just so weird. Like weird age difference it was people. something like that was never gonna last it should never been invented in the yeah. first place. <laughs> think of how many like cases that omegle is like started where somebody's got somebody's address whether it be like like age difference or like whatever like predators or whatever it could be it's just like bruh and the stuff they show is like sick sometimes like, they just be dudes they'd be like there. dudes just sitting there jacking off or some shit random yeah, shit bro. Have you ever been on me? No, never. I used I've to been wear a, my young and reckless, my young and reckless snapback. <laughs> me and my homies drinking ten dollars. I definitely bottle. as a kid, yeah, I, yeah, I think I did. <laughs> Migos, like, when I was a fun as shit. It's like, damn, I get to meet somebody They're from strangers. across the country. Yeah, yeah. Shit. that's my age and shit. I used to be or, going into the Indian servers, <laughs> or <laughs> or a nigga that's way older than me, and he asked him my address. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I think you should be on here. <laughs> I always like going to the Indian servers. Yeah. And they're always the funniest people to have conversation with. <laughs> Can you like, rap? <laughs> yeah. No, nigga, I can't rap. <laughs> I'll see your rap, though. <laughs> have you guys ever seen the Indian street food videos? Oh, yeah. where they flip the ice cream and stuff and don't mm -hmm. let them grab it? No, like them cooking, having dealing with food, how they deal with food. Oh, the yeah, and it'd be like flies and bees all around. Yeah, and they be putting the chicken in the, under their armpits. Yeah, so like, uh. yeah, to warm it up and shit. <laughs> None of them people get sick. Nah, I never heard of nobody getting sick from that. I'm always, I mean, I they probably they, built yeah, their yeah. immune system. You I'm, probably would get sick. Yeah, they don't get sick. I wouldn't eat that shit. One time I ate rodent, bro, like a a, a beaver or some shit. That shit had my stomach. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the no fuck beaver? How can you look at a beaver and be like, yeah? That was I didn't know it was. I thought it was like like normal cow meat. Nah, that's crazy. Nigga, I, I gotta kill somebody. Yeah, my stomach was fucked. Ooh, yeah, it was not. It was not the. That's when I thought I ate a human. Mm. Remember, I told that story. Oh yeah, you said it was a sausage shape. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cock eater. <laughs> um, you know, I should change my name to on Uber. I saw this TikTok that you change your name on Uber Eats to Keith Lee. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. Saw yeah. That. And they come. On, it's been a lot of jokes about like how you know all these restaurants that do like bad business and they make you wait. And they just never know, like, when Keith Lee going to walk through. Because mm -hmm. it could be detrimental to your, your yeah. restaurant. Like, it actually fuck you over mm -hmm. if he gives you, like, a bad review. Especially if, you, especially if you're at a place where you're popular and, like, you just got the own lock. And more people coming is not really going to help your business. Yeah. Like, you just got it on lock. Like, 
Keith Lee can only do damage at this point. Because mm-hmm. you putting this out there not going to make more people come to us. We got, yeah. like, a lot of people going those type of restaurants. So it's just like, but some restaurants obviously need them. Yeah. So it's just like the difference of, like, I'm a major restaurant. I got on lock. I got my stuff. I'm like, nah, I'm good, Keith Lee. Don't come in here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> even back to that, even that Keith Lee situation, it was funny. It was interesting to see the people of Atlanta kind of agreeing with those uh, with him saying like Atlanta restaurants beyond that, like, yeah, they be on the bougie stuff like two hour waits and stuff like that for yeah. brunch. Yeah, that's what that's what people do. They get bougie because they know like we're gonna get we're gonna make the money regardless. Yeah. We know you're not going nowhere regardless. You lucky <laughs> that we even talking to you right now. Yeah. You know that's how you ever get like a popular wing stop in your neighborhood. That's how they be acting. You walk in that bitch, don't nobody give you no eye contact. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't think Ross meant for this shit to happen. Y'all niggas take my order. What's the longest you will wait for food? For food, like at a at a sit down restaurant. I remember, um, no, I don't wait that long, bro. I, so I what's the longest? Like, like, like what's the oh, the like, time limit that you say? No, nah, I'm good. Twenty minutes. <laughs> Damn. because uh, I can't really, I can't really like sit there and just have all these people walking in and <laughs> start smelling the food. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with Go you ahead. niggas? <laughs> niggas can't just what the fuck? Yeah. Nigga, I mean, nigga gonna start itching in that bitch. He was talking about <laughs> weed stop too. Nigga gonna be in the restaurant start itching like I can't take this. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas just been like eighteen minutes, nigga. <laughs> ah. It's been 90 minutes, whole ass nigga. What about food? What about you, G? To be honest, I be kind of like freaked out when that shit come out too fast. Yeah, thank yeah. you, bro. I'm, I'm like, like hey, that too. Like, <laughs> my omelet came out in three minutes? Like, you ever go to Wendy's and be like, let me get a baconator with spicy nuggets? They like pull around and just toss you the bag. Like, Hold on. <laughs> on. <laughs> How the fuck the ba- burger already made? That is that's funny. That's, that's funny too. Just people in general were like, service is too quick. And yeah. the service takes too long. It's yeah, like, it got to be like happy medium yeah. somewhere. <laughs> like my shit should not be coming this fast, bro. Yeah. How does Chick Fil A get away with it? I mean, you damn it! As soon as you pull up into the first you, arrow, you Chick, see Chick Fil A be tricking order. you because they kind of <laughs> walk with you and be talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> they throw the you off. <laughs> like nigga, don't even worry about this food. About to come out real quick. <laughs> I just want to say. My pleasure, my nigga. <laughs> he said, "Bless you, <laughs> bless you." I'm gonna walk in that bitch playing demon music one day. <laughs> Am I more what you bargain? My pleasure. It's so professional, bro. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever had a bad order from Chick Fil A before. I, don't, I got my order wrong they, before. They, yeah, they, yeah, they got. My yeah, order wrong but before. never like. Like damn, I had a bad experience. Like, like not no chicken, McDonald's shit. McDonald's, I remember this. Like, McDonald's like no McChicken in a McChicken. They didn't put the chicken. In. I had a fry, fry, fly. I mean, in my fry, <laughs> a fly. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fried fly in my fry. Oh, a fried <laughs> fly. So yeah. you were trying to say that? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> She yeah, sure that was she shores. <laughs> right, that's what it sounded like. I this one girl at the at McDonald's drive through. I don't eat McDonald's, but she she took a hundred dollar bill. I paid her with a hundred dollar bill. Bro, chill. A hundred dollar bill, I don't eat that shit. A hundred dollar bill. And she put it up like this, like all out the window, like, is this real? And asked me if it's real. I'm like, use your marker. So she used a marker. And her dumb ass gave me my hundred dollar bill back, then gave me change as if I gave her a hundred. Yes, I, th- I think I was wow. there when that happened. Yes, <laughs> you was karma. You was yeah, fucked. I was plugged. You let me yeah. fuck this McDonald's. What's going to motherfucker? Hey, and I hope she <laughs> lost her fucking job. That's said, All it. Right, thank you. Now she had Burger King fucking up the book. <laughs> <laughs> she got on her resume. I'm used to working with burgers, <laughs> but these flame broil, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how, how going from fast food to fast food restaurant is like uh, the cook and stuff like that. I wonder what type of questions they ask you in those interviews. Yeah, have you ever applied to be a fast food restaurant? Yeah. Oh, you say you worked at Wendy's. Yeah. What were some of the questions they asked you? Um, what's two plus two? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember. I, I know for sure that it wasn't really too much with the. Um, it was like contamination questions. Mm. Mm. Like washing like cross contamination and, and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> don't mix, don't touch the fish with the the raw meat. Yeah, and changing your gloves and doing all this and that. We need oh. a smooth job. Now you working fast food, Gene? Hell no. Nah. Yeah. I, I would never work in the service industry. Thank Hell you. Man. I just can't serve yeah. niggas, bro. <laughs> I just, bro. That never make your Gene. day go by quick. Nah, he was making niggas, making people's day. Yeah, What's, I was cool. I was a cool worker. Yeah. 
I'm saying you're helping, you're making people's day by giving them burgers and shit like that. What'd you do at Monday? Yeah, what did you do? I was a cashier, drive through. I did everything. You just, just you never it. cooked. Yeah, I did the bro. How they make the burgers at Wendy's is they just <laughs> throw it on the. I'm, I'm, it's never frozen though, right? Or no, it's never frozen. It's actually like think, a little. That nigga signed the oath. He said. <laughs> <laughs> You see the way that nigga looked at me? He said, no, I was never frozen. <laughs> Got this nigga. <laughs> Wendy's about to sue this nigga. Like, I knew that nigga would fold. <laughs> no, I'd be right nah. by the tomato. <laughs> nah, as soon as, as soon as T's about to give the secret to Wendy's, the nigga just, like, pass out. <laughs> you know, no movies. No, when he's put on their burger. <laughs> <laughs> the side, what was the cyanide? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be doing? Kill that nigga. <laughs> What's in, isn't um, cyanide an apple seed? That's actually I don't know, Key. So I'm not even gonna clown you for that. Where do you get these facts? I don't know. Sinai is poison. I watch a lot of random videos. Sinai is poison, so I don't know if it'll be. Nah, it can't be. I eat eat a whole apple, like seeds and everything. But it's seeds that can change. (laughs) Whoa! (laughs) (laughs) Pause, nigga. (laughs) Pause. That nigga is a sperm bank, huh? <laughs> Yo, a nigga had uh, useless information yeah. that swallowed the whole seed too. Like, hold on, that, that shit was not even eating. You could, hey, the old apple was was was, was sufficient. Nah, I never, hey, nah, for real though. When you was a kid, you ever like people ever tell you like, oh, like, you've, oh like, yeah, he got a I'm story. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause ahead of the time. Yeah, like, pause. Oh, if you eat the seed, like the watermelon gonna grow in your stomach. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, what I, I, I yeah. Thought you he eat. told that story on the pod before. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mike been swallowing <laughs> seeds for a long time. Nah. <laughs> I eat the uh, peanut shells. <laughs> that came out so crazy. I eat the peanut shells. <laughs> Ooh, peanut. Oh my! God. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why didn't we grow up? What? I'm sorry, audience. One day we we were what at that age one, one of these days. That nigga key broke that shit down. <laughs> that nigga that ain't always the professor for uh, freaky shit. Yeah, he is. <laughs> nigga, our bisexual correspondent. Stop saying that. These niggas think I'm bisexual for real. These freaky ass niggas are alive. Oh, that he is freaky, bro. Stop being freaky. Nah, they just know it make you uncomfortable. So when you show them that you uncomfortable with it, they gonna keep. Coming at you. I'm not uncomfortable. I'm, <laughs> whoa. Uh, oh, right? man. I'm sorry, y'all. He said, all right. Say, all, right. Uh, all right. Now, y'all freaky ass niggas got to stop with this. This is key. K-E-E. Yeah, stop the freaky key. shit. All right. Key got a six-figure business. So, if you say you smarter than him. Six-figure. <laughs> You got a six oh, figure business. Oh, I don't know why. I just thought it sounded like you said something else. So if you say you smarter than him, you got to show how much your business earn in a year, or you're not smarter than him. <laughs> so everybody saying yeah, it was one dude that called you remedial, and he spelled remedial wrong. I was like, this I was, <laughs> why so, do niggas think you got to be smart to be successful in life? <laughs> 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 like niggas really think I'm stupid but Hey, in the kidding? podcast <laughs> no, no, we done for real uh, No, we gotta be done after that bro. <laughs> hey, I'm ready to go <laughs> I wanna leave I wanna be in the same room with Keith no more <laughs> you, know I mean? you know how many brain cells I just lost Most of that shit <laughs> That was for real. No, nah, I'm like, done by association, bro. Fuck. I was, I was Maybe like, we stupid, bro. Damn, dumb. You know when you got a dumb nigga in your crew? <laughs> no, hold on. This nigga is the dumb nigga secretly. I did have a question. <laughs> I did have a question for our listeners and anybody. It was just like, <clears throat> I had a question for our listeners and anybody in this room right now. Is okay. When Jehovah Witness actually knock on the door, has anybody ever gave them a chance? I've never heard anybody. Yeah, I up. did. What, what were they talking about? I was Jehovah's Witness. Once I found out I was younger and I used to watch the Jackson Were you five. knocking on people's doors? No, I just accepted. I, say, I just never followed through. So who's listened to them fully talk? Never. Me. I can tell you everything they say. What they say? They say, listen, man, we've been going door to door trying to get niggas to be real niggas and ain't nobody answering right now. And I said, I'm glad I answered. <laughs> <laughs> I see why you're not one of them. <laughs> anyway... We're going to uh, end the podcast there. Uh, we're right. dumb and successful. Yeah. That's, key, yeah, key. Dumb, that's, that's, that's a good one. Dumb and successful. That's a good one. Yeah, for sure. You anyway, got to be smart to be successful. Key, key, key. We're, oh. We got it from here. We got it from here. I, I was trying to get No, nah, let him get one more. Go ahead, go ahead, you go ain't got to be smart to what? To be successful. What you got to be to be successful? You just got to be determined, have some heart, 
And s- stick with it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be all the way stupid. Yeah. So you can be half stupid. All right. Past show, <laughs> November 17th. Pop the Gene fuck out. show, November 17th. Pop the fuck out. DM us. Yeah. Link us. Uh, information without that would be in the bio and stuff like that. Peace. It's been episode Peace. 128 of Crash Me Podcast. Hopefully it's 128. It is no, 128. 128. Check, check. Remember, all you smart niggas, you see you unsuccessful, <laughs> get stupid. <laughs> All right, peace. I'm just trying to speak like he. <laughs>